welcome back to the channel so today we're activating navigation on this xc60 so this car currently only has the internet maps without the navigation system so we'll use orbit to activate that feature now i'm inside orbit before we can do anything you need to create a profile first and get the cm pin for your car you can get this pin quickly from the seller via email it's required to make any changes now i open the configurator and search for the navigation option i mistype a couple of times at first but when i type navi the result finally shows up the item we want is id223 navigation system and internet map this is the entry that controls whether the car has connected navigation and online maps enabled now here we can see it's currently set to without connected navigation with internet map and we're going to change it to with connected navigation with internet map that's the option that turns the built-in navigation on next i click right to car a confirmation window appears showing the current setting and the new settings we are about to apply I'll double check is the changes make sure everything looks correct and then click ok to proceed orbit is now writing the new configurations to the vehicle you'll hear some clicks and module noises during the process that's normal as the car applies the changes i'll fast forward this part since it takes a while for the car to flash The flashing is now complete, so I press disconnect in orbit to safely end the session. From here, I'll switch over to the car to show the navigation. And now the navigation software is installed to the car. What we need to do next is to download the maps through a USB. Next, I head to Volvo's website to download the navigation maps onto a USB stick. At first, I select Census Navigation 2016. Then it asks me to choose a region, so I pick Europe. After that, I click on Download and the process starts. The full Europe map is about 58 GB, so I recommend using a 128 GB USB drive to make sure there's enough space. And now we're downloading the maps directly to the USB stick. It's about halfway through at this point. The download is finished and here I show all the map files stored on the USB ready to insert to the car. So we are now back inside of the car with the USB. So we'll stick it inside of the USB port. And it is now asking me to update the maps accept and now we'll just let it install and the car has now finished installing the maps so let's check if we have maps now and we do have maps on the car and we should also get the maps on the driver display and we do have navigation also on the settings show maps and now we also have the maps on the driver display all right guys and that's how you activate navigation on your volvo if it didn't come with it from factory 
and if you have any questions about this video then please put them in the comments below and as always please like and subscribe thanks